Good morning, everyone, and thank you for starting your day off with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. I'm going to start the show off today with one of my favorite authors, and he's not just a favorite of mine. He is a favorite of so many locals down here in the Keys. Now, he is the author of the Mad McMurphy series, and if you love mysteries, this is a must-read. You will fall in love with his writing. You will be drawn in from the first few pages, and then from then on, every page will come to vivid life. Michael, thank you for being back on the show. Oh, thank today. you for having me. I enjoy coming. Well, it's wonderful having you here, Michael, and I know that you've probably been up to a lot since the last mm -hmm. time you were on. Probably lots of writing. M mostly <laughs> writing, uh, uh, doing the sequel to Stay Away to Bottom, which I was hoping to get out by December, but it looks like it'll be January. Uh, my short story, a Vampire Slayer Murdered in Key West, was nominated for a Seamus Award by the uh, Private Eye Writers of America. And after it was published, I didn't, I came in on the top five. I didn't win the prize, but it was an honor because mm -hmm. it's writers that, that choose you. So I've published a short book, a small book of the short stories that just came out this week. Mm -hmm. uh, other than that, that's that's my exciting life. <laughs> that's your exciting life. Well, right now, Fantasy Fest is going oh, yeah. on, as you're well aware, and of course all of our viewers are aware. So. Michael, do you have a favorite Fantasy Fest experience? Oh, I, I have a couple over the, the 16 years I've been here. I think the one, the first one was when I was with the local newspaper as a business writer. And <clears throat> uh, on Duval Street, there there's a bar called The Bull, mm -hmm. and above that is The Whistle, and mm -hmm. above that is The Garden of Eden. Right. And, you, and I used to go to The Whistle after the uh, paper was published at night with the editor. Mm -hmm. and. You'd never see many people up and down the Garden of Eden, which is clothing optional. Mm -hmm. uh, so during Fantasy Fest, we go to the, we go out midnight, one o'clock, up to the uh, the uh, uh, the whistle. There's a line down the stairs out to Duval Street, and so we had a couple of beers, and I went up the back steps, and I knew the the manager, a young lady. And I said, "What the hell's going on? Mm -hmm. It was ten dollars to get in, right. you know." And uh, I'm looking there, and most everybody has their clothes on. And there was a wet T-shirt contest. Oh, no. And I, I you thought didn't it, go, did you, Michael? No, I went okay. downstairs. The beer was gone. <laughs> but I just thought it was humorous that you go to a clothing optional bar, <laughs> pay money to get in, see a wet T-shirt right. contest. <laughs> it's a little ironic, <laughs> that, isn't yeah, it, Michael? It's, uh, <laughs> and it's, it's still that way. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. sure that you have many more favorite oh. experiences, too, oh, don't uh, you? I, uh, I was uh, Charlie Bauer had me judge the homemade bikini contest when he had the the uh, the hog's breath, <laughs> and uh, I've seen bikinis made out of dental floss, oh, no. out of wax. No. Uh, I, I think the 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 experience I'll always remember is when my daughters were teenagers. They used <laughs> to come here, and they would come down for Fantasy Fest, and they would sit behind us with the judges. And when a judge had to go to the bathroom, my daughter Shannon would jump up and judge the contest. Yeah. <laughs> and my other daughter, Chayla, would was near the beer cooler. So when we mm. needed a beer, we, they were, she was the, the unofficial bartender for the judges. Oh. Uh, and it was just a fun experience. Mm -hmm. I, I like to note, though, that, that they're married with children, mm -hmm. and they haven't brought their husbands down for Fantasy Fest. That's good. <laughs> they should keep their husbands at home. <laughs> and now, Michael, if people want a break from the madness on Duval Street, they can go to a book signing that you have coming up on Friday. Um, I have a week from Friday, mm -hmm. which is uh, we go from Fantasy Fest to Jimmy Buffett's Parrot Heads. And, so more uh, madness. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Col costumes are more colorful, but it's still mm -hmm. costumes. Uh, Friday, 1 p.m. to 3, there are going to be three of our three writers, uh, mm -hmm. John Cunningham, who has a, a mystery series, and I'm not sure, the, I'm not familiar with the other writer, and myself, at the uh, Smoking Tuna, one to three. So I'll be signing uh, Car Wash Blues, which is a, my new novel, mm -hmm. as well as uh, my other books and the short story collection. Well, that sounds good. Yeah. And for more information on Michael, you can check out the website that our viewers see on the bottom of the screen. Michael, thank you for being back on Oh, my pleasure. Show. Thank Great you having for you here. inviting I, me. I hope you don't have any too crazy fantasy fest oh, memories I, for this I, year. I don't think I will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a quick break. I'll be right back after this. Stay with me.